recall last month we had a beautiful film and tea in the studio. This is it right here. So, Kino Akane. Yep. So we're gonna. Well, we don't have any lemon, though, do we? No. Okay, should I? Uh, you are juice. It's not lemon. Like this, is, there's your juice here. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> should I run to the company real fast to see if they yes, have? Yes, please. Okay, I'll be right back. So we're letting it steep for a bit. There's lemon juice. So we're gonna drop some of the lemon juice into the tea here. The changing color? I yeah, yeah I, I can see that, that there's a pink part in the middle. Oh yeah. Not from the camera. Yeah. It might eye. be better if you use a cup like this. Yeah, it's changing. It's pretty pink yes. at this point. Ah. Yeah, you, can, you can see it. Oh yeah. Yeah, there it is. There it is compared to that, right? That is cool. You can drop there too. Yeah, that's, I'm gonna drop it into this thing here. Right, yeah, you can see it starting to change in there. <laughs> wow. Ain't okay, that can neat. Can I drop to the, everyone's cup? Sure. Okay, two, three? Just a couple drops, yeah. You see, there's the original green one. <laughs> that is awesome. Itadakimasu. All right, let's give this a shot. So this is like Japanese ryokcha that has lemon inside of it, and it's pink now, as you can see. Ooh, that's a unique taste. I've never tried that before. Hmm. I like it. It's a very light taste, but it's also like got a very Japanese type of taste to it. Now the term akane is like kind of scarlet, kind of evokes a sunset type of feel, and that's what this looks like, a sunset. So it's a very nice late afternoon tea. Welcome to this week's episode of the vlog. <laughs> Not sponsored, they paid me to use the studio. <laughs> I've never been on this side of my hood before. There's a 7-Eleven here. And another one, right over there. <laughs> Useless. Oh, this is a nice park over here. This is entirely too loud. I am trying to sleep. I have no idea what's going on down there. Tell you what, all this right here, this is all different. Sheebs is definitely a different city. Uh, the old, uh, what was it, Tokyo Plaza is there now, and there's a new Shibuya Chuo guy. This whole area is just completely different now. So this is Chuo guy, I think. Is that right? But that also means center guy. Like, look at this. Chuo guy is literally center guy, center road. So there's two center streets in Chiefs now. I mean, come on. This is the Tokyo Plaza right here. Standard Tokyo Plaza go up the escalator entrance, but I'm gonna go right up the center road here. Yeah. Oh, they got another lemon shop. So that's two of them. They got one here, right there, and they have one over there behind, uh, over by the stream. So there's barely anything going on up here. <laughs> There's a building under renovation that is open now. Let's see, what else they got here? Tennis shop, soba, a pronto. A lot of the uh, rustic character of this particular part of town is pretty much gone. Here's the Tokyo Plaza. There's a restaurant over here I really did like though. I mean, I think I've been here once for a video. I think it is still over here. Yeah, this area is pretty much Izakaya town right now. They repaved it with bricks. The ramen shop's still here, that's good. All these ramen shops are still here. Yep, it's still here. This place right here. They got the Niigata Tare Katsu. This place is awesome. 
I don't know if I, I think I've been here for a video once or twice, I don't remember, but yeah, this place is still here. Alright, I guess Jeeves isn't changing that much, is it? Up we go. <laughs> Shibuya Fukunas. It just sounds weird, why can't they just stick with a normal name? I don't know. And up here is a lot of shopping. Oh, I do like this though, that's pretty cool. I gotta come up here again when it's not raining. This place got that new building smell. Look at this thing though. Oh. <laughs> well. Now you see what happens when free rate differentials happen. Did you have to take the photos? I'll come back here another day when it's like not raining so I can go up to the roof. Proof that Pokemon Go raids work. There's a raid right here at the McDonald's. And I got the Kit Kat Curry! Wait, that's not curry? What is this? Kit Kat Flurry. Damn it, I wish it was called curry, but it's not curry because it's a flurry. It's also being completely blasted out by my camera. There we go. <laughs> I won the raid. Here's my award. <laughs> Again, it's complete. My white balance is going nuts. Here it is. Mmm! McDonald's. I don't like your burgers. I love your fries and I love your flurries. Keep it up, boys. Oh yeah, your breakfast is good too, but you know, I don't really eat breakfast that much. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I'm probably just gonna go home now. Yo, what up? Writing up stuff for my taxes. I still have beer left. I'm sad. That is sad. We finished your drinks out yeah. nine hours ago. Yeah. He bought me a shot of tequila. My stomach hurts. That's what I'm here for. You brought it in your horizons. Yeah. <laughs> here we go, boys. Here we go. They turn to 500. <laughs> There we go. Oh boy, here it comes. <laughs> Today was a weird day. The uh, Daytona 500 got postponed due to rain, so I ended up waking up early for no freaking reason. A bunch of notices came out about traveling outside for no reason because of the coronavirus. Although, uh, the armada of mask wearers is uh, dutifully returning home after a long day of being a corporate soldier here in Japan. And uh, I myself am not giving any sort of a shit because I've got the immune system of the gods. That's all I have to say, but I mean, who knows really. But, I mean, aside from that, I got a, a new plan set up for the website. Or for the studio, rather. Hopefully uh, this draws more clients. And, uh, yeah. Right now I'm just trying to figure out dinner, but I mean, I just love the uh, evening sky right now. It looks really cool. Oh, take two, back to the 500. <laughs> On a Tuesday morning for me over here in Tokyo. So I just finished watching the Daytona 500, if you saw, um, that was scary. That was really scary. I mean, that was just... Wow. One of the drivers, he was leading, going into the final turn, got spun, hit the wall, flipped over, got hit. While he was upside down and the roll cage just landed on top of him and... You know, everyone thought the worst for a moment, but... I hate to see that shit. I, I sat, I've been... I sat in this seat for like 45 minutes, I'm just like... <sighs> yeah. That's racing for you. I'm sure I'll be okay, but... Damn. I forgot I... Well... I basically didn't film at all today. <laughs> I've got nothing to say. Except, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>